All right, so this is going to be a pretty straightforward example where we're going to be doing um, an approximation with the Taylor series, and it's going to be for the cosine of pi, and let's analyze the problem statement. Okay, so we're asked or told, using the first five non-zero terms of the Taylor series, approximate the value of cosine of pi using four decimal places for intermediate and final calculation. Okay, so first things first, the Taylor series expansion for cosine of x is 1 minus x squared for 2 factorial plus x to the fourth for 4 factorial minus x to the sixth 6 factorial plus x to the 8th, or 8 factorial minus x to the 10th, or 10 factorial, and keep this going, changing the sign, uh, increasing the power by 2 each time, and notice that the power and the factorial and the denominator will be the same, 2 and 2, 4 and 4, 6 and 6, the cosine of x, these are even values starting with 1, changing the sign each time. Okay, and we are told to calculate or approximate the value cosine of pi. All right, so we know that the actual value, just from trigonometry, the actual value of cosine of pi is negative 1. But so that's so our answer should be in the ballpark or somewhere near this. But for the Taylor series approximation, what we're going to do is plug in pi for our x values. So let's start doing that. Cosine of pi equals 1 minus pi squared over 2 plus pi to the fourth over uh, 24 minus pi to the sixth over 720 plus pi to the eighth over 8 factorial which is 40,320 and Let's not forget that we want the first five non-zero terms. So we have one, two, three, four, and five terms. So that's, uh, we could stop right there. We don't have to add any more terms because the problem said use the first five non-zero terms and we have those here. And the next important detail to note in the problem statement is that they want us to record four decimal places for uh, each intermediate and final calculation. So a lot of times if you're doing this, they will restrict you to certain calculators so you can't just plug the function in and calculate it easily. They want it to be a struggle and, and really difficult to calculate. So I'll write all the intermediate calculations here with four decimal places. So cosine of pi is 1 minus 4.9348 plus 4.0587 minus 1.9348. Three three five three plus zero point two three five three. Okay, so notice each uh, term has four decimal places, and now we can uh, approximate our final answer. Cosine of pi with four decimal places, and I get negative ninety-seven. The negative 0.9761 for our approximation. 
And notice that it is close to our actual value, cosine of pi of negative 1. All right, so that just shows you that the Taylor series is pretty accurate. And as you increase the terms, your approximation will be more and more accurate. Uh, thanks for watching.